Welcome to another example of rigid body motion. Uh, here we have a cable spool whose weight is 50 pounds and has a mass moment of inertia of 0.28 slug square foot. Uh, a force of 50 pounds is applied to the cable as shown which causes the spool to roll without slipping and we're interested in the friction force between the spool and the ground and also the acceleration of the mass center due to application of the force. Let's begin by drawing a free body diagram and showing the relevant external forces. The tension of 50 pounds is already shown. Another key force that I want to add to this is weight. It is a force that goes down vertically from mass center. So let this be the weight. Then reaction of the ground is a normal force going up. And then lastly, I have a friction force to the left. So let's label these forces as W, N for the normal force and F for the friction force. Uh, I label the point of contact of the spool with the ground as point A and let mass center of the spool be labeled with C. So this is the situation here obviously because I have a plane motion which is combination of translation and rotation. The mass center of the spool has a linear acceleration, I call it MAX, net force equals to MA, a tension is pulled to the right, friction force to the left, forces are not balanced, and acceleration is created, so I show MAX, uh, there is also a rotational acceleration, uh, so I show that as I alpha. Okay, now the, both of these forces are acting at, I shouldn't call them forces, uh, both vectors MAX and I alpha are acting at mass center C that has a distance from point A, I'll show it down here, which is um, cap R. So let's label the bigger radius as cap R. 8 inches if I divide it by 12 that is 8 over 12 or 2 thirds in foot and I label the inner radius by lowercase r 4 inches divided by 12 is 1 third of a foot I want to make sure that I'm using compatible units so everything is converted to foot. So as far as equations of motion are concerned, uh, I can write the force equation in x direction, net force in x direction equals to max. In x direction I have T pulling to the right minus friction force pulling to the left equal to M AX. Observe that this equation has two unknowns. One is F, the other is AX. But I can take advantage of the kinematics of the situation. Since I have uh, rolling without slipping, that's a key observation, which tells me that AX equals to R alpha. Here I want to use capital R times alpha because the distance from the contact point to mass center is cap or not lowercase r. So AX can be found in terms of alpha. If alpha is found, then AX is known. Then F can be solved out of this equation that I just wrote. Let's label that as equation 1. So the question is, how do I find angular acceleration alpha? Angular acceleration alpha is produced due to rotational effect. So I can take moment of everything about any desired point. 
Uh, observe that if I take moment of everything about mass center C, I would be eliminating a known force, which is the weight, and I invite the unknown friction force F to my equation. So instead of taking moment about center C, which is what you see in the PDF solution, I want to show you an alternate way of doing it. I want to take moment of all vectors about point A on the free body diagram equal to moment of all vectors about the same point for the uh, inertia vectors MAX and I alpha. So as far as FPD free body diagram is concerned, if I take moment of everything about point A F, N, and W, all of these forces are cancelled out of this equation. None of them have a moment about point A. Uh, but the only force that has a moment about point A is a tension uh, whose distance is this much. That is cap R minus lowercase r. So let's choose positive to agree with the direction of acceleration so I choose clockwise to be positive then uh, the only force uh, that has a moment about point A is T whose moment arm is cap R minus lowercase r equal to moment of these vectors on MAD diagram I call this MAD diagram and I call the right hand side diagram FPD Observe that on MAD, I have two rotational vectors with respect to point A. One of them is I alpha. The other one is moment of MAX with respect to point A, which is product of distance R times vector MAX. So, uh, observe that as far as kinematics is concerned let's label this equation number two ax can be plugged for into equation three so if i plug two into three i have t times r minus lowercase r equal to i alpha plus r m times ax which is r alpha so this is uh, what I end up with as far as equation 3 is concerned. Observe that this last equation has only one unknown, namely alpha. This is the only al uh, unknown in this equation since everything else is given. I can factor out alpha and solve for it. If I solve for alpha, I have T times cap R minus lowercase r divided by i plus m r squared so continuing with numerical calculation i can then write alpha equal to tension is 50 pounds uh, cap r is two-thirds of a foot which is actually 0 0.67 minus 0 0.33 that is the lowercase r the inner radius divided by I, which is 0.28 in primary units, plus mass is 50 over 32.2 times R cap R squared or 0.67 squared. So doing the numerical calculation, we can get alpha equal to we do get a numerical value of 17.18 radians per second squared so this is what we get for angular acceleration of the spool then having angular acceleration I can use equation 1 and solve it for the desired value of f if i rearrange the equation t minus max equals to f or f equals to t which is 50 
mass is uh, let's see mass is also 50 pounds mass of this spool is 50 pounds divided by 32.2 times acceleration ax ax is r alpha so i can write 0.67 that is cap r times alpha which is 17.18 so taking a calculator and doing the numerical values i can find friction to be equal to 32.2 pounds now i could have calculated a linear acceleration ax which is actually this product separately so that turns out to be 11.45 i could have calculated it before using this equation to get f but at any rate this is what we end up with. Thank you for watching.